Sharp in all surgery is an innovative pioneering technique which was invented in the 2000s by Dr. John Chow. Now, what makes this procedure more special compared to conventional gun surgery? This technique is used for patients who have treatable gun recession. Where the tooth is still stable and there's still sufficient bone, we can bring the gum upwards or downwards and improve the aesthetics and the longevity of the tooth. With the child pinhole technique, we're using keyhole surgery. We typically use a pin and through that pin hole that's made, we introduce collagen into the gums. And this is done in a most atraumatic fashion where patients will have little downtime and of course the results are stunning. We will first have to assess your suitability for this. This will include an x-ray and an oral examination. We typically will take photographs as well and carry out what is known as scaling and root planing. With root planing, typically injections have to be given and the root surface of the tooth or teeth that are affected cleaned thoroughly. Following which, we'll then present within two weeks of the procedure to get child and all surgery done. On the day of surgery, after the local anesthesia has been administered, we'll then proceed to lift the gum and put it at a higher level and then introduce collagen through the pinholes that are first created. I typically see patients at the next day, one week thereafter, at three weeks and six weeks. At each appointment, we will ensure that your teeth are being cleaned. For six weeks, you cannot brush your teeth following child pinhole surgery. After any form of surgery, there are risks that include pain, bleeding, swelling and the potential of infection. So in child pinhole surgery, because it's a very technique sensitive procedure, there are other things that can determine the success of the procedure, including you not brushing the area and keeping it very clean. But one of the complications we can see is asymmetry. The next problem, of course, is infection. But if you follow the instructions, take the antibiotics and also do the mouth rinses as you've been told, you should have a good result and you shouldn't encounter that problem. In terms of preparing for any form of surgery, including child or surgery, you should one, hydrate yourself, drink lots of water, make sure you have healthy and good food, and you need to have a good amount of uh, vitamin and mineral intake as well. More importantly, that you should have a very good level of oral hygiene. This means brushing twice a day and certainly flossing every single night. The procedure of child nose surgery can last anywhere from two to three hours, depending on whether one jaw is required or both upper and lower jaw are required. It does depend on the condition that we treat, but it will last at least half the day. Please book off your time and ensure that there's nothing stressful for you to attend. There will be some swelling to be expected. Most of the conditions that we treat, including child pinhole to implants, we would always advise patients to take at least one week off work. And if you have any important activities, try and plan the surgery to be after that, or at least give yourself two weeks before that. For child pinhole surgery, I would advise at least six weeks of non-vigorous, non-strenuous activities. This is because the gum has physically been moved away from the bone. And if you do anything to stretch that, the gum position will change. And hence the reason why we say don't brush your teeth for six weeks. So if you smile very, very widely, or if you strain when you're carrying something when you're running, this will potentially alter the position of the gums. So six weeks of non-vigorous activity following child pinhole surgery.